Hey guys, so this is the second video to this little series that I'm doing. So this is how I edit my photos and my videos for Instagram. And my first part, if you haven't watched that, I'll link it down below. Today I'm gonna get straight into it. I'm gonna screen record, go into my camera roll, and these are all the photos that I've took. Um, so obviously I take the video first. Any clips of what I'm doing step by step. I do my lashes shot and I mix it up at the end. Sometimes I'll, do, I'll go back in and back out. Sometimes I'll just do lashes shot and then I'll do zoomed out for the full look all together. Just mix and play around with it basically. I get quite bored. I'm, a, I'm quite a creative person so I get really bored doing the same thing over and over. As you can tell by my crazy ass makeup looks on here. So then I take some Instagram stories. Just me posing to things like this one. I'm just pose into stuff. Um, just so I've got as, as much content as possible for each makeup look that I do. I'm actually going to show you, let's show you how I edit a photo. So what I do is I'll go for the photos and I'll look at them like this. So I'll look at them in the little square rather than just looking at them like that because I can see what it looks like on Instagram. It's so like if someone's, if I'm on the explore page, that is what you're going to see. So I want to see which one's the most eye catching. So I thought that this one looked the best, basically, because my eyes look really nice, the angle's nice, um, the just all the angles and stuff are nice, and it's hit my highlight really nice, the like lighting and stuff. Oh, I took some more chocolates, I love this, but I'm like kind of awkward with like putting stuff like, I don't know, props and stuff, I don't know what to do with them because I'm not used to it. I love this photo as well, so maybe I'll do that one as well. I need to shave my moustache, oh my god. I just hearted it, so I've hearted that one. Then I'll go into Facetune. So I go, oh, you can see one that's got a heart on it. And then what I'll do first is I'll just smooth any of my baby hairs just around it. So I'm just literally tapping on it a little bit and I'll zoom in. And as you can see, we've got a moustache here. We'll get, get rid of my moustache and we'll take smoother and just literally just tap it. So I'm not just going like this, I'm literally just tapping over the areas and it's a little bit up the highlight area it's getting a little bit thing. I'll use smooth a little bit like that and go over it so I'll swipe with smooth but if you're using smoother you don't want to go over it a lot because that's what it does to your skin so I'll just erase that part there so you can see the difference smooth is good to like swipe with smoother just like just tap in basically just like little baby hairs and stuff and obviously I've got a spot there which is amazing isn't it? I thought I should have put that into a beauty freckle. And I'll zoom out, I'll constantly zoom back in and zoom back out just so I can see what it looks like. And then before and after. So I do edit my skin because it looks better. I'm not gonna lie to you guys, I've got I've got quite good skin, I'm quite blessed. When you're taking photos on the back screen of this camera, it shows all the little details that you can't even see. So it'll like all the little deep little paws are like bumps and stuff that you can't really see. Like you can't really see it on me now, can you? Like, to be fair, I've got quite good skin, like I said. Thank God. I'm not changing my nose. I'm not changing the side of my lips, size of my lips. I'm just literally retouching it. People feel ashamed when they do this. I don't feel ashamed at all. I'm just like, I'm just, this is what magazines do. Going with details. So I've got a cut crease, so I'll go in and just tap it a little bit. Tap over my eye, tap over my lips, like the edge of my lips, um, end of my nose, this part of my nose. So. If I, after I've smoothed it, I kind of like to put the detail back in. Um, and sometimes it does bring the pores back up and stuff, but I feel like I want it to look realistic still. I don't want to blur the whole face and feel like, I have got no pores, I have got no spots. That ain't realistic. I don't really do much more. Sometimes I'll go in with my white and, and I feel like a lot of people do this, and I'll literally just tap it a tiniest bit if my highlight's not showing up as much as it is in person. But literally, that doesn't really do that much, to be fair. And then I'll go over my neck a little bit because my fake tan's a little bit patchy. And then my finger. Oh my god, my finger. I need to smooth that out because that fake tan is not looking cute. Um, I'll let's just go. There we go. So that's before and that's after. So I'm just smoothing over areas. And I'm, as you can see, I still look like me. I'm not changing my features or anything like that. I'm just literally, like I said, retouching the photo. So I'm saving to camera roll. And then I go into Fisco. And then these are my bloody photos of my hair and like the parts. <laughs> I've got so much weird stuff on my phone. So then I'll go on the that, edit. Sometimes I like to go to this little filter here and I'll turn it up a little bit. I need to turn my brightness up a bit, don't I? Yeah. Um, as you can see before and after. I only put a tiniest bit of the filter on there, just give me a little bit of a 
different vibe. Grain, love using grain, and I'll put that up to like, no, I put it to like number three, but sometimes I'll put it more. You can see the difference though. That looks absolutely amazing. If I could do all my photos like that, I would. Like, look at that. I'll just put it up to like three normally. I'll put 3.5. Um, and then saturation. I don't do saturation on this because I don't like it. I don't like, I feel like it makes me look orange. I have got orange eyeshadow on though. And then I'll play around with, so this is your temperature. So it's actually skin, it's like warm, cool. I'll put that up a little bit, I think. So I'm not probably, uh, and I mean like the tiniest bit. And then this is obviously your more pink toned skin. So if you feel like on some photos, your skin's coming out more yellow and some's coming out more pink, you can like kind of alter it a little bit because you want your feed to look all the same. So I think that looks cute. I'll put the pink up a little bit like that. So I like my skin tone. Mine, I'm more olive, but I like to look more neutral to olive. Like I like looking neutral because it looks it looks a little bit nicer because sometimes we look too yellow on a photo. Oh my god. I look like a Simpson basically and that that's not a cute look. So yeah, that's all I'll use on there really. I don't really use anything else. And that is the before and that is the after. So as you can see, it's just little tweaks that make a big impact. Obviously you have to have good makeup on. So I'm going to my Instagram. Oh I love that. That's so cute. Oh, oh. Right, I need to do some more Mitchell inspired looks because oh my god. So now I'll go on. These are on my buddy Drafty Senior as well. <laughs> so yeah, I like put stuff on drafts like those photos at top, the same look, and then them two below that I took. Basically, I'll take photos and then I'll take more photos. I'll edit them. So if I want to do a throwback every now and then, I've got one in my little edits, like my little drafts. Sorry. Then I'll go next. I'll angle it to where I want it. A little bit more down. Probably like that. Does that look better? Hmm. Probably like that. So, then I'll play around with the contrast. I mainly use Instagram's editing bits. I think it's the best thing ever. Sharpen, my favourite tool. And it was like, how the hell should you make your like, iPhone photos look so sharp? There you go, right there. And I'll put it to like 40 or something. But it depends how sharp your photo is already because you don't want it to look ridiculous. So you can see before and after. Just gives you that extra bit of sharpness. I love this look. Oh my god, I love this makeup look. Oof. And I just play around, depending on how the photos come out, I'll play around like shadows. So I'll put the shadows up a little bit. Highlights. Sometimes I'll put it low because I feel like it looks more impactful like that. That looks so cute. Saturation. A little tiniest bit. Then my warmth. Uh, I'll keep my warmth like that. Maybe turn down saturation a tiniest bit. Literally, I just do little tweaks when it comes to my photos. I don't change anything drastically. And then it depends how what your vibe is. Some people like do the whole like faded vibe. Um, or some people like go really saturated. To find what I like my photos to look like and the vibe. And then I go with that and I try to match everything to that. So I'm quite happy with that photo, how it is there. I think it looks really pretty. The eyeshadow colours are popping. I haven't changed it much. It just looks a tiny bit more yellow. So then I'll go back, save draft. And then a good thing to have is, it, this is the reason why it's good to have drafts because you can see my background in that is a little bit too cool tone. It needs to be a bit brighter because compared to these photos down here, somewhere you can see they're a little bit lighter. So then I'll go back, next, brightness. Turn that a little bit up then. And then I'll go back. Yeah, and then when it comes to like putting my TikToks next to it, I'll just like do that and then pretend that like this is my um, video. So I'll put the video second. That's how you do carousel posts if you don't know how to do those. So that is how I edit my photos. So how I edit my TikTok little mini videos for Instagram, my little tutorials. So I'll go in this. I'll go in my camera. I'll go in my camera roll. You can see all my clips there. So then I'll go into TikTok. Skip the ad. So I'll go on the plus sign at the bottom. It's my, oh well. So I mean, I feel like the camera on my iPhone is just not as flattering as this one. Uploads, so then I'll just go onto here. And then, so you can see, I'm just, make sure you're selecting in, in um, order as well, because it just makes your life a lot easier. Sometimes I'll take a couple of shots of the eyeshadow as well. And then you can actually click on the actual video in the middle and not just in that little circle, just to see them. I think I did the swoop thing on this one. So I'll do a little eye close up and zoom out a little bit. 
Um, and then I think it's this one I like. Or is it this one? I think it's this one. I use that one and then is it this one? Maybe that one. Oh, I don't know. This is what I mean. I take a, a while to pick sometimes. So you can only put in, I can only put in 35 slides. So 30, so then I click next. And then you go to default, so you ignore that part. And then all I do now is I'll get the little part that I want. So about there. I need to turn my volume down because it's doing my head in. Right. So you can see I've got like eight seconds there, but I'm going to cut it down a little bit more. A little bit more about there. I don't like my each clip to be quite long. I'll do the eyeshadows one quite snappy and quick, and then the ones that I'm doing this, the actual blending, I'll do a little bit longer. So what I'll do is I'll just find where I want to cut it. This is all I do really. So I like that, that's six, not quite six seconds. And then you've got this. I do that for normal like five seconds because you don't really need to see it that much. And then I find the bit I like the most. So I have it for about eight, eight seconds, <laughs> not quite eight seconds. And then I'll just do this until it's done. It doesn't take me that long. I think it takes me about 10 minutes to do this. So it's definitely, it's, it's a lot quicker than editing a YouTube video. YouTube is a lot, lot more time consuming, I think, personally. The more you do it, the more you get used to it, basically. So, actually, at first it took me a little bit longer because I was so picky on the little clips I pick and what parts of the clips I pick and now I'm so used to doing it. I know what works and I know what looks good, so. Okay, so now I'm finished with it. It tells you above the screen that it says 22.9 set selected. So that's how long your video is. Um, I always like to keep mine 30 seconds or under just because like it's easy to find songs. Or if you can get it like 15 seconds and under, and under, that's easier. So after you've done all that, you can obviously keep scrolling and watch it all. So like if you want to watch the end bit to see if it flows, like that. So then you pr press next when you're done. Turn my volume up. So obviously when I've been recording my eyes, I've been watching something while doing it. So let's get rid of that background noise. Original sound down. Then you go in sounds and then sometimes it has recommended ones here, like oh, that one. We could go to more and then you can go to oh what's that? Let me turn this down. But then I have some in my favourites, so the ones that I've saved and stuff, search stuff, or mainly I can go to like Top 40 UK, New Music, click all, look at the new music. Once I've found the song, press next, go to drafts. Um, and then you can go to your drafts, um, click on it, select cover, and then you can select obviously what your cover wants to be. And then that's what it looks like on the screen at the top there. But yeah, and then I post that to TikTok when I'm ready to post it on my Instagram and then it'll automatically save it to your phone with the TikTok things in it but when you actually get to go on Instagram you can see obviously this is the video from TikTok here because it cuts it just a little bit shorter than TikTok because it's a smaller screen kind of thing um, a smaller post you can't see the TikTok handles or anything like that and then all I do when I'm uploading them is I'll move about um, where I'm wanting it basically. So post, um, say it's just like a random video like that. If you can make it bigger, so that's what I do. And then I'll just move it up or down to where I want the eye to be. So you can see that we don't, we don't want that in, so I'd always go like that. And I wouldn't want the top bit of the TikTok thing to be in, so I'd go like, and then you can obviously have it square if you want to, but I like it a little bit bigger because I like to see more detail. And then when I've got my end bit, you can see um, my full look a little bit better as well. Hi guys, it's me again. I cannot believe I've literally just said you can crop it out. <laughs> Guess what's happened? TikTok has done a new thing where it puts its little at thing in the middle, like where the square would be for Instagram because it knows that we do that now. So that is how I edit my photos and my mini videos for Instagram. Also post them on TikTok as well at the same time. So it's like, you're getting a double kill, aren't you? You're getting some like, cause I've got 7K on buddy. TikTok and I just use it mainly for posting on 
Instagram. I might just edit my videos and stuff, but I post them on there anyway because I, I might as well. But yeah, if you've got any questions, I'm going to do a Q&A after these two videos are gone live. So the last video and this video, I'll probably do it in the next two weeks, maybe next week. Depends how many questions I get. Um, make sure you're following me on Instagram so you're updated with my stories. I upload my Instagram stories every single day. I talk to you guys on Instagram every single day. If you've got any questions, definitely follow me on Instagram because I'll put one of those like question boxes up for my Q&A. I hope you guys have had a lovely, lovely day. Hope this has helped you out this video. If it has, give it a thumbs up down below. And yeah, subscribe if you want to see my face more. And I'll just see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Thank you, Lord, for all you do for me, for all you've done for me, for how you love me.